Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new deal of the day video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. So before I show you the deal, I just wanted to show you also what happened so far with the weekly analysis that I have sent last uh, Wednesday. Um, I'm really so proud of my analysis because I'm actually almost all of them have reached the take profit. Euro USD 118 pips of profit. Pound USD has actually reversed exactly from the level I given to start buying and it has made in total about 130 pips of profit. AUD USD has reached also the take profit level making 111 pips of profit. USD CAD sadly did not work at all as you can see it has even reached the stop loss. Uh, USD GPY is not active yet, not triggered yet. USD CHF has just started reversing exactly from the given level currently running in 28 pips of profit and the gold has almost reversed from the given level uh, to start buying and went in total about 320 pips of profit. That's really amazing. I'm, I'm so happy about these, the, the results and I'm just feeling sorry for that channel because I don't re think we are receiving the... Um, whatever. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I think the channel deserves more views than that. Anyway, regarding the deal of the day, uh, the gold right now seems really good for the buy. If we go to the daily candles, we can notice right here that we have a strong bullish engulfing candle and the gold seems like it has made an attempt to break out from that long-term support zone on 1700 however the gold seems like it's rejecting the breakout from that level and after seeing the strong engulfing candle we can start uh, we can notice that we can start again buying the gold going back to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we can see that here what which seems right what's what seems here to be like a head and shoulders pattern and uh, if we are not mistaken, we have to wait for the gold to fall for another about 80 or 90 pips to hit the level of 1,710 to hit the same level here of the support. That's actually going to be the really best level to start again buying the gold. Remember something here. We had here a strong two support attempts. And when the market has made what seems like a bearish breakout from that level, those two support attempts has become a one single attempt of a resistance so we have here a one single attempt of the resistance you can consider this as the resistance number one what happened later that the market when it made the attempt to break out from that level of the resistance again or sorry when the market tried to create a resistance number two the market has immediately broke out from that resistance and again the very same level of the resistance has become another support so we have here again support number one that means the level of 1710 is holding a position of a support much stronger than a resistance that being said we are now expecting from the, from the market right here to fall a little bit more to that support level of 1710 and from that level we will start again buying the gold not only that if we draw here a resistance uh, trend line like that we can see that the market here has created here a resistance trend line and what we see right here is also the breakout from that resistance trend line and the market right now is heading to retest that broken resistance trend line to create another support trend line. So all these signals, all the indicators saying that really the gold should be good for the buy and therefore we have to prepare to buy the gold. So I'm going to send the signal exactly from here from 1710. I want to give it 1710. Exactly. That's better. So deal of the day is going to be buying the gold. Let me just make sure. Let's go to the 30 minute time frame. Yes, exactly. We have to wait for the gold to fall for another uh, 92 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So gold should be good for the buy, my friends, at 1710. Exactly. And if in case we have entered this trade, we can expect a profit for about right here until the market actually reach the previous support level. So that's going to be about 452 pips of profit. But let's be more realistic because today is Friday. So it's going to be the last day of the week. So therefore, we are not expecting from the market to continue the rise all this time. So we're going to aim that top of the resistance at 1740. Therefore, that's going to be our take profit level, which is going to be about 300 exactly 300 pips of profit so therefore the take profit level is going to be 1740 
Now regarding the stop loss. The stop loss will never be placed randomly. There is a science behind placing the stop loss because, as we said before, we are having right here the resistance trend line and the market is actually uh, has made the breakout from that resistance trend line and about to create a new support trend line, right? So if the market actually falls below that support trend line, that means that the market actually has break out from that resistance trend line and that resistance trend line is going to keep its position and the market might fall again. Therefore, the stop loss has to be placed somewhere below that support level. So as you can see right here, we are having here this support level where we can expect that the, max the maximum uh, fall below the support trend line to happen or to occur before finally, if, if the market is going to fall below that support level, it means that it has indeed uh, broke out from that support uh, uh, support trend line therefore that's going to be our stop loss which is going to be about uh, 100 pips which is really fair enough so let me actually let me let's make it a little bit more just for the safety exactly so the stop loss should be about yeah 119 or 120 pips only so the stop loss is going to be on 1697.78 Guys, I want to remind everyone, please don't enter this signal blindly immediately. Maybe you will see a strong bearish movement like that and the market might immediately hit your stop loss. We always have to prepare for such incidents. So please don't place any pending orders and just be sure that you are entering only if you see the market indeed reversing right here and showing any price action such as a pin bar or a doji or a reverse hammer. Whatever indicates that the market really respecting that support level. If you see that, I mean, entering late is always better than wiping your account okay remember that we always have to prepare for the potential losses and therefore please prepare to start buying here only prepare if you see any good price action indicates that the market is really reversing here then enter with a reason uh, and proper lot size because there is always the possibility to lose the trade so you are a trader you are an investor how much your account is having two thousand dollars for example how much you are go how, how much you are planning to invest in this deal you can invest in in this deal about three hundred dollars so make sure that your stop loss is gonna be for example at 250 or 230 maximum you can increase it to 300 okay that's how much you are investing in this trade don't tell me i wipe your my account following your signal don't say that you have to be a smart trader and sm just invest amount in this deal so you you're investing 300 dollars you are ready this 300 dollars is going to be able gonna gonna be even uh, bring you more money or it, you can actually wipe it don't feel sorry about the 300 because you're a trader and you are now investing in this deal i'm just giving the advice because the last two deals of the days uh didn't work and some people were flaming in the comments and that's really annoying because i'm very proud of my ability in sending the signals as you can see here almost all of these signals have actually went in a decent profit so therefore judging me because just of the deal of the day is really not fair at all anyway sorry for the long speech uh, prepare guys for this deal i think it's going to be very good and profitable for everyone so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching